Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 9th of January 2025. I hope you are keeping well, keeping warm if you're in a cold country. You've heard me complain recently of uh, the weather being a bit nippy here in Bangkok, by which I'm exaggerating of course, but actually we have news here in Thailand that uh, over the weekend, Sunday or Monday maybe, we could be heading for 40 year low temperatures. That means down to 16 degrees C. And for us in Bangkok, I can tell you that's like an Arctic winter, <laughs> 16 degrees C. People will be wearing huge overcoats and <laughs> dressed like Inuits or something like that. That's going to be fun. Uh, also, uh, we're hitting with a double whammy at the moment. Pollution today is at a very high level. Of the 77 provinces here in uh, Thailand, uh, only seven have safe air to breathe. Unfortunately, Bangkok is not one of them. And of the other 70 provinces which have unsafe levels of PM 2.5, those that particular um, minute particle of dust pollution is at least double the unsafe levels, at least. And in some places it's three times or more uh, the level of uh, safe safety for PM 2.5 so that's bad isn't it um, if you're coming to Thailand though you'll probably be heading to the beach and I presume the a lot of the pollution will be blown away uh, those dust particles will be blown off uh, with the sea breeze and sea air if you are daring enough to go in the sea for me that's the sea will be too cold this time of the year what else is going on uh, screaming right-wing lunatic um, Liz Trust, former Prime Minister of the UK, has apparently sent a cease and desist letter to Keir Starmer telling him to shut up about, uh, 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 stop commenting that, that she b broke the British economy with her budget. Uh, oh, I do hope that goes to court. Please, please, please take him to court. It will never be easier to prove anything than to prove that Liz Trust bankrupted the British economy. The evidence is there. She is insane. That woman has, I think she's got psychological problems. She seems to be off her head. Uh, please get it checked out, Ms. Truss. Uh, I think you need looking at, your head needs looking at. <laughs> All right. Shall we get on with our game of Sudoku? What have I got as my supplementary puzzle today? I've got a medium level game from the New York Times. Let's see how it shapes up, shall we? I'm going to start with threes blocking down here, down here, and across there. And so that's how I'm going to start with a three there. Oh, we've got another three on this side. Look at that. Threes across there. There we go. Three's not a crowd in this instance. Three's just perf the perfect amount of digits. Threes block across here, across here, and up. And a three goes in that square there. And that's about all we can do with them, I think. We'll be left with those blue squares there as threes or possible threes I should say we've got two blocking these two squares and a two blocking down here so I know that that's going to be a two then we've got two going up to the top like that giving us two in that square one down here one up there there goes one Can you see anything else? Don't keep it a secret. Mm, I see seven sevens like this. All right, let's go through uh, sequentially and see if we spot anything that way, shall we? Might save a bit of time. I've got the ones here like this. So I've got the one in the middle. I've got the 
twos down there like that and I've got the twos over there fours something like this sixes are there and somewhere in the middle there's one and six in the middle then sevens I just looked at a moment ago it wasn't enough was it uh, eights are there Oh, so not much. All right. Got to look more carefully then. Okay, so in fact we've got nine blocking this square and nine blocking this square. So in that row that has to be a nine, doesn't it? And nine up here and nine down there and nine across there will give me nine in that square there. Nine blocking this square, this square and this square. So in this column there's a nine. nine and three blocking up here and nine and three across there that means that's a pair of three and nine so now when one blocks across here and there that will give me a one in that square six up here up there and across there has that six been there all the time i see all black numbers that looks like it might have been there the whole time and i've just missed it completely but such is life and sudoku of course So I think I've got a pair of seven and five here. Am I right? Seven and seven and five block down there. Seven and five block across there. So that is a pair of seven and five. How does it help? One, four, six. I'm not sure it does help me a lot or it may do and I just can't see it five and seven um, I know I've got six and one across here what else is missing four and eight 
Ah, okay, yes. All right, so we've got, all right, so let's, this is f five and seven. Just put that in place, right? So now we've got six blocking across here. So six is somewhere there. We've got eight blocking down here and eight blocking up there. Actually, that is an eight, isn't it? Uh, and then we're going to have one blocking across here and one back there. So this is one and six because of the six there. This is five, seven. This is one, six. And so that's a four. Uh, one, six. That's got to be one, six. Okay. Fours are in pretty short supply, really. All right, what else do we know? Seven blocks all of those squares there. We need a seven in that row. It's got to go there. Missing numbers here are one, five, eight, I think. And that doesn't help me a lot. And this is two and four. And this is two and four, isn't it? And so this is eight. Eight blocking up here and eight across there. So eight in one of these two squares blocking down. Eight blocking down here, eight across there. There is our eight. Eight across here to the end and eight across there gives us eight in that square. This is seven, I think. Seven up here, we need seven and five in those two squares. Seven goes there, five goes there. It's a kind of itty bitty game, do you know what I mean? It's difficult to kind of get flowing here for me. <coughs> Okay, missing digits in this block are two, five, and nine. We've got five and nine together, so that would be our two. Nine blocks across there, there's our nine. That would be a five. Yeah, I still can't. I just can't seem to get the number. So I haven't got any completed digits. We are we are moving forward. We're definitely not going backwards. But it's just uh, just seems to not really be flowing here. Let it flow for Doctor J. That's a track by Grover Washington Jr. Don't miss it if you've never heard it before. Great track. I don't know who Dr. J was, but <laughs> it's a great song. Oh, there we go. Four blocking there. There's a four. And that's going to be a two. And the last digit to get there is nine. So nine across here and nine across there and nine up here could lead to our first completed digit. Ta-da! Nine is out. Go away, digit nine. Let's see what else we've got. Three like this. Three like this. That's three out of the way as well. Is that 
changed anything for one no not yet how about the twos anything changed I think not four any news on the four I think there might be okay where do we have fours we have fours in these squares fours in these squares right because of the four blocking down and that means four there and there that means four is in those two squares now we've got four blocking up there so four is in those two squares that means in this horizontal shoot across the top we can only look for four in these in this particular row and guess what those two squares are filled and so we know that four goes there and that should be enough to finish the game now four is blocking down here there's our four our one blocks down here that gives me a one in that square and six finishes here up at the top well let's have the six blocking up to the top there's the six and the missing number now five Uh, one blocks up here so there's our one and the last number to get there is half a dozen and six also blocking down down and across there so there's a six this will be a four this four blocks up there giving a four there and the last number to place over here is a two and uh, what next Missing across the top row, four, seven, and eight. We got four and eight together. That must be a seven. Seven across there, seven across there, seven up there. There's a seven. Seven down and down gives us our final digit seven. Missing numbers here are one, five, one blocking down there. There's the one, there's the five. And one and five block this square. So that means that's one and five. And this is something else. It's an eight and then eight blocking up up and across there gives me an eight in that square eight across here across there gives me eight there the missing number in this column uh four is it i think it is a four and we've also got four blocking up here putting four into that square there what's left to get two blocks this square so there's our two two blocks across there there's a two this is a five that's a five over there five blocks down there's a five last number there is a one and that's the last number for the grid thank you for joining me on this thursday uh, i've still got no work to do until god knows when so i should be back playing more sudoku it's very bad for me you know the more sudoku i play the worse it is for me it means i've got no work to do i'll see you again tomorrow bye bye